I'm gonna go pick up a GTX 1050 from someone on OfferUp. So, another OfferUp deal. Not many Craigslist deals, but lots of stuff on OfferUp, apparently. So let's go do that. We're going with the flip-flops on this trip. So I'm going to pick up a GTX 1050 right now. It's a 2 gigabyte variant and uh, it's actually an OEM version. It's one of the ones that I think they put in uh, the Dell Inspron towers. The guy originally had it listed for 80 bucks and then he lowered it to 60 which is what I saw for on offer up. But then I went in with a lower offer of $50. I probably should have tried 40 uh, but that just seemed way too low compared to what he initially asked for it. So. Uh, at $50, I, I would still be pretty happy with this pickup just because uh, this is an entry-level graphics card and it doesn't require uh, external PCI power. It looks basically bare bones, uh, but I looked online to make sure it was legit because there are a lot of fake NVIDIA cards out there all over like eBay and Wish and all that stuff. So I, I just made sure to look up it wasn't one of those. Uh, and cross-referencing it against a couple of other posts that I've seen regarding these types of OEM graphics cards, uh, it looks legit. And I know some people are going to be like, oh my goodness, it's 2019, how are you going to only get a card with 2 gigabytes? It's because it's for the right price. There's this mentality that I've been seeing a lot in the comments, especially since I did the video where I gave Casey the PC, which I put a GTX 1060 in it, 3 gigabyte, and people were giving me a lot of crap on that. And I think they're just like repeating what they hear from other YouTubers. But what they don't realize is when a lot of other YouTubers, like the bigger ones, talk about how uh, graphics cards are gonna need more memory, they're not realizing that they're in, those YouTubers aren't talking about cheap graphics cards. Like I'm fine with buying two or three gigabyte graphics cards as long as the price is right. Because if you're building something that's entry level, that's only gonna be playing like 1080p, esports titles or on really low settings then yeah i would be okay with a two gigabyte graphics card for fifty dollars i'm not going to expect a four gigabyte 1050 or like a four gigabyte rx 460. i think a card like this is perfect for like the 200 or sub 200 dollar uh, build category so i am looking for a silver crv and i'm permitted to make this left turn without stopping nice Okay, oh, the sun's in my face. Holy, oh! I think that's him right there. How's it going? How's it going? Good. My name's Danny, nice to meet Danny, you. Danny, well, nice to meet you, bud. Nice to meet you. Yes. Are you upgrading from this? Yeah, yeah, I just, uh, we just, I just bought it for my son, you know, a pre-build, I just pulled it out and I put a 1060 in for him. That's was all. this from my Inspiron? Uh, no, it was a uh, Dell, uh, Opti is it Optiplex? Optiplex okay. Yeah, Optiplex, yeah. Because, you know, it doesn't have, like, the normal heat sink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was like, wait up. Because there are a ton of GTX 1050s floating around eBay. Yeah, like, yeah. The fake ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, the way you oh, had it priced, I, I was like, oh, it's kind of similar to that. Yeah. But then I looked it up, and then yeah. I saw that people said, um... It, yeah, the, when they do pre builds they don't have all that stuff. Okay, wait, so did you just buy him the tower? Uh, I mean, no, I bought it from like maybe six, seven months ago, but we upgraded right away. It's just been sitting it's here. Been sitting yeah, now? yeah, so oh, it's okay. practically brand new, so yeah. Okay. Yeah, I even threw it in again to make sure it worked. Okay. And it worked, so you're, you're, you're going in, yeah. Okay, yeah. well, uh, yeah, thanks for being able to meet with me halfway. Yeah, no, no worries. Lake yeah. Stevens is kind of far out, yeah. so 50 bucks, yeah, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I was sitting there, so I was like, you know, yeah, why not? Are you doing a pre build? You just trying um, to. No, it's just so. I build a lot of computers, yeah, and okay. um, a lot of the times it's just nice to throw in a graphics card to yeah. test like a motherboard without there having to have external yeah, yeah, power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but then yeah. eventually, uh, if I also want to build something low end, this is like a perfect card yeah, for it. Because yeah. you don't need a strong but, power But you're right, you know, you don't have to toss in a power supply to test it, so that's helpful. Yeah, that's, that, that's so, the yeah, nice thing yeah, about yeah, it, yeah, so. so. Yeah, cool, man. All, all right. right, enjoy, all yeah. right? See ya, thank you. This is a nice guy. I didn't feel like pulling the camera out. 
I got a little nervous. I don't know why I got nervous. That was, that was odd, because I've done it like so many times by this point. I have no idea where I'm going. Okay, Google. Directions home. Oh, I didn't even show it to the camera yet. It's right here. You probably can't see. Come on. Here it is. Hopefully it's in focus, because my eyes are on the road. My eyes are focused on the road. But hopefully the camera is in focus. But yeah, tiny dinky card. I really like this, how simple it is. A few moments later. He said it came from a Dell Optiplex. It's about to go in another Dell Optiplex. We're gonna test this real quick with this system that I have here that I'm gonna do some stuff with. There we go, just as easy as that. So the GTX 1050 two gigabyte variant scored a 2373 in Union Valley. For temperatures, it was floating in the high 60 to low 70s and it's basically being utilized 100%. And uh, here's an interesting thing that I found. Uh, it's clock speed is 1721, which is around 200 megahertz higher than the typical average clock speed for two gigabyte 1050s. Most of the 1050s, if you look at this list here, a lot of them, as you can see in the right column, don't look at the memory clock, but if you look at the boost clock, they're around 1500. Uh, sometimes they're a little higher. Stock clock and then the boost clocks are usually 14 to 1500. This one, I think it's uh, a result of GPU boost because of how efficient it's running. It's actually pushing it even further up because I don't have any overclock supply to this. Yeah, so we look here, 1721, and I'm not overclocking it at all. The sliders are still set to zero, zero, so that's all GPU boost doing it. But yeah, uh, the GPU works. It's super small in terms of the shroud and fitting in here. It doesn't hit any of the SATA connectors, which normally when you put a graphics card in here of normal length, it'll overhang. So then you have to like bend the SATA connectors. So yeah, this is pretty awesome. A pretty basic graphics card, but performs, I think, really well for the $50 price point that I paid. And I think uh, if you find ones like this, they'll probably be listed for a little cheaper since they don't have, uh, you know, the big fan shroud and everything. Um, but yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Let me know what you guys have picked up recently, as always, uh, whether it be from Lego, Opera, Mercari, eBay. There's so many places to pick up used hardware now. I'm just curious what you guys have been using. I've been using Opera up a lot as of late. I don't know why my Craigslist has been sucking, but uh, I still check it every once in a while yeah let me know what you guys picked up recently where you guys picked it up from and yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you all in the comments as well as in the next video bye